in this video I want to do some examples where we want to find how we can express one quantity as a percent percentage of other. So let us do some example and that's the best way to learn any concept. So if I get 16 out of 25 in a test, what is this as a percent? Okay, so this is a question mark. So the statement is I've got 16 out of 25. 16 out of 25. So if you want to write this as in math, 16 out of 25 is written like this, 16 out of 25. Now, if you want to write as a percent, you will have to write this 16, sorry, you want to write this out of 100. So 16 out of 25, I want to write some number out of 100. This is what percent means, per cent is per 100. I hope you know that, per cent, cent is 100. Okay, per cent is 100. And the notation for per cent is like this. You can see this, you can... You can model this to 100. Can you see 100? Yeah. So this is, I think that's why they use this notation. This is 100. Zero, zero. Okay. There's also out of 1000, when you learn insurance, they write out of 1000 like this. So this is out of 1000. Okay. I'm not uh, confusing you with more facts. Okay, so I want to write 16 out of 25 is equal to something out of 100. So you should, if you know the times table, I'm thinking like this, 25 becomes 100. So I'm thinking like this, 25 times what gives me 100? So well, 25 times 4 is 100. So you do the same thing to the top number. So I do times this by 4. So 16 times 4. I hope you know is 64 and if you don't know you don't need to worry suppose 16 times 4 if you want to do if you don't know you can go 10 times 4 1 stands for 10 1 times 4 is 40 and 6 times 4 is 24 6 times 4 is 24 so this implies or this means 16 times 6 4 is 64 I would add this to 40 plus 24 is 64. So 64 out of 100 is nothing but 64%. So if you want to say talk in terms of percent, I will say that I got 64%. Okay. Now, in a sales, there is a 30% discount on an item that originally was $250. What discount? What is the discount as a percentage? So the discount is 30 out of 250. So let me write that 30 out of 250. Okay, 30 out of 250, I want to write out of 100. That's my ultimate goal. This is out of 100. This is out of, I want to write this as out of 100 and that would give me the percentage. So 30 out of 250 is same as 3 out of 25. 3 out of 25. So what I have done is, if you don't understand this, this is nothing but 3 times 10, 30 is 3 times 10, and 250 is 25 times 10. So this and this gets cancelled, so which is 3 out of 25. So the same thing, 25 times 4 is 100, so you do the same thing to the top number, which is 12 out of 100, so the answer is 12% just like that. So there is a 12% discount in the sales. Okay, the next question. A lolly jar will hold 400 lollies. If it has 156 lollies now, how full is the jar as a percentage? So it's full by 156 lollies. So yeah, basically what they've given is you've got 156 out of 400. You could fill the lolly jar by 400, but now it has 156. So how much is this as a percent? So this is 156 out of 400. So can I write this? Okay, so I'm going to do without the calculator. So this is two times, uh, and this is two times 200. 
So two times what is 156. So this is half of, so 150. So this is uh, 75 plus 3, 78. Am I right? So I, if I don't know what I will do is, I'll first, I know 2 times 70 is 140. 2 times 70 is 140. And I want 2 times, 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 8 is 16. So that means 2 times 78 is 156. So I'm writing this as 2 times 78. Am I right? Yeah. Well, 2 times 78. So this 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So again, this 78. So this is 78 out of 200. And 78, again, I can write as a 2. So 2 times something. I don't know. So it's 2 times 100. So, well, I know 2 times, two times uh, 35 is 70. 2 times 35 is 70. I want an 8 now, yeah? So 2 times 4 is 8. Okay, so this means 2 times 39 is 78. So this is how you should be thinking and working without calculators because it helps you to think. And the more you think, you become a better person. So 2 times 39. 2 times 39 is 78. So again, 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So this is 39 out of 100. 39 out of 100. And that is nothing but 39%. And if you want to do on a calculator, if you have a calculator, so you can get it. This is a simple uh, Microsoft calculator. So you can go 156, 156 divided by 400. That will give you a decimal answer, which is 0 0.39. So this is out of 1 times it by 100, times it by 100. That will give you 39%. Okay. So the next question, John has to save $600 for his car stereo. If he has saved $48, what percentage of the car stereo has he saved? So he has saved 40, 48 out of 600, 48 out of 600. So I want to write this as a person, so I want to write this out of 100. So this is 4 times uh, 20. 4 times, 12 times, so let us start with 2. So I want to start with 2 times 24 is 48. This is 2 times 300. <clears throat> 2 times 300. So this is 24 out of 300. Okay, so can I write this as 3? So well, 24 I can write as 3 times 8. And 300 I can write as 3 times 100. So 3 and 3 gets cancelled. This is 8 out of 100. So that is nothing but 8%. If you have a calculator and if you allow the calculator, this is how you do without, a, uh, without doing this mental calculation. You go 48 divided by 600. That is 0 0.08. And this is a decimal. If you want to write this as a out of 100, so times, this is out of 1, so times this by 100. That is 